Today, I'm gonna be trying to get the highest wave ever in endless mode in Toilet Tower Defense. So right now, the highest wave is 93. Just a few hours ago, it was 90. So people are slowly figuring out better and better strategies. And I think I have a pretty solid strategy. Santa TV Man and Scientist Cameraman, because the max money unit limit is five. So like, the max for Santa TV Man is three, so then I can put two scientists. And then of course, we have the upgrade Titan Cinema Man. He does the most DPS and the best booster unit. Boost him and the green laser your cameraman, which slows things to these attacks by 50%, so that's gonna be very useful, but before I get any farther into the video, like and subscribe fast. So of course we gotta start endless mode out with the Santa TV man. Now to absorb as many stuns as possible, all my farm units are gonna go on this line, but I don't wanna let a ton of toilets get past, so I'm gonna put the green laser cameraman right here as soon as I can. I'm actually gonna put him in the middle. He doesn't attack too much of the area now, but when I upgrade him, he'll have like this big circle. So now I've got all my farm units down. Just to make sure any toilets don't get past, so I'm gonna upgrade the green laser cameraman again, though. I just maxed out the green laser cameraman on wave 17. I still have a bit to go on the Santa TV men, and I haven't upgraded the scientists at all. Now all my Santa TV men are maxed, so I'm gonna put the DJ TV man right here. I wanna start boosting the green laser cameraman a bit, but now that we skipped, all oh, the scientists are stunned. I wanna upgrade them. I'll get a second green laser cameraman for right here and try to max him out. Oh, he got stunned instantly. And even an upgraded Titan cameraman or cinema man right here, because we need to start doing AoE damage. We need the first godly. There's the mutant toilet 2.0. He's pretty strong, but so is the upgraded Titan cinema man. Let's go. We got him. Both scientists and all Santa TV men are maxed out on wave 25. And now the DJ TV man is maxed out, covering a pretty good range. And this green laser cameraman is also maxed out. Let's upgrade the upgraded Titan Cinema Man again. I'm gonna put one more green laser cameraman and this time over here. Now he's maxed out. Actually, I'll put one more right here. So now we pretty much have green laser cameramen slowing things across the entire map. So here's the 10,000 upgrade, making him do even more damage and have even more range. This is gonna be crazy when I get him maxed out. I mean, he is already really good maxed out, but the DJ TV man making him basically basically 50% stronger is even crazier. Now with the 15k upgrade, he can finally stop toilets with his back attack. And now we have one godly maxed out. So let's get another godly right by him. A claw toilet kind of got to the end because I skipped too much and I placed this guy, he attacked him and I put this guy to destroy the claw toilet. So I'm not gonna skip that much anymore. Skipping was not too great of an investment. Let me sell these guys, kind of just wasted a bit right there, but since I skipped way too much, there were way too many things, and they are attacking things over here, and the guys over here were stunning them, and I did not bring any healing units. I've been just putting more upgraded Titan Cinema in and upgrading them, and now I'm on wave 49 with three fully upgraded. I only have one more level on the fourth one. I think for now, a good idea would be putting a second green laser cameraman. Wait, I reached my limit. Oh, yeah, there's one right here. Um, I'll actually just set this one to last, so that it all he slows the slowest unit. Or actually, I'll set him to strongest. If he stopped getting stunned for a second, I maxed out the fourth upgraded Titan Cinema Man, and things are getting to around like the middle right here, and then dying. So I don't know how far we're gonna make it. I do not know if we can make it to wave 90 because it keeps getting harder, but I just have to have some good placement for the rest of my Cinema Men. I want them all to be in the range of the DJ guy. Bro, how is this guy not in the range of the DJ guy? I'm gonna tell Evan to fix it. Oh wait, wait, no, wait, I just realized something. This unit was added before the update, before the Christmas units update. Bro, I don't know how I didn't realize that this entire time. So yeah, booster units only work with things added after the Christmas update and some other units, like for example, they work with the green laser cameraman because the green laser cameraman was added pretty recently. But older units, including this godly, aren't boosted by the DJ TV man. So ooh, that is not not good. Bro, this entire time I thought he was being boosted, but I I guess not. So I might as well just sell the DJ man, put another upgraded Titan cameraman where he was. Bro, he literally can't fit in this area, so I, I guess I won't put one here then. Well, that means I can kind of place them wherever I want to as long as they do good DPS, but that also means they don't get boosted. So whenever Evan fixes it, Hopefully by next update, he can have all units working with booster units. Then people will probably get 
to like wave a hundred something or more. You could for sure get a lot farther if booster units worked with this godly, but the best damage we can get with a unit that was added after the Christmas event is probably the Ghost Cameraman, but he doesn't have that much range. He has like far less range than the upgraded Titan Cinema Man, so that would not really be worth it. Upgraded Titan Cinema Man has insane range and good damage. Now I have six max out upgraded Titan Cinema Men. I don't know what the people's strategies were that got at the very top of the leaderboard, but upgraded Titan Cinema Man is probably the best unit. So it most likely was upgraded Titan Cinema Men, and the only difference was maybe the placement and what other support units they had. But Green Laser Cameraman's the best slowing unit. I mean, he's not AoE, but he does slow by 50%, so I'd say it's worth it. I'm just gonna save up to get as much money as I can, and then I'll try putting five more upgraded Titan Cinema Men in this area because I want to keep the farms for as long as I need them because in total they give me 8,000 per wave and it costs a lot to upgrade these guys. I'm at the unit limit now, so I guess it's just time to save up for more upgraded Titan Cinema Men. I'll probably sell the two scientists, put two more of them, and then save up for three more. So that I can sell the Santa TV men without needing more money. Oh wait, while well, I was saving up, I lost on a wave 68, only wave 68? Okay, wait, that is not even that far. I'm not too sure what the strategy is right now to get to wave 90, but I will figure something out and maybe do another video. But yeah, I only got to wave 68, that is not great. I need to come up with a better strategy, maybe we could have used something like... Bro, what is going on right now? I, I was just walking around and now I'm just like stuck right here. I don't think this is supposed to happen. Um, well, I don't know what's going on. But anyways, since the booster unit did not end up working, I could have used a healing unit. That would have been really good. Something like the camera repair drone or the speaker repair drone would have helped a lot whenever there are a lot of toilets stunning everything. That would have gotten us a bit farther, and then after I sold all the scientists, that would have also gotten us a bit farther, so I, I, I died kind of early. But yeah, endless mode, yay, subscribe, like, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video.